Well, Monday's Most Wanted has turned into a valuable tool for local law enforcement to capture wanted fugitives. And to that end, we are bringing you another list of criminals to help police find and maybe even make you a little bit of money. Monday's Most Wanted with Lieutenant Tim Robinson. Thank you for sticking around. So, you actually had a capture. Yes, we did. Week. Yes, we did. Bianca, Bianca Proc. Right. We found her at a residence. Uh, we had some trouble locating her and we developed some information and uh, we picked her up at a location in Salisbury this week. All right. So, we got one. There we go. And, and, and that's. Anytime we get one, it's a good week. All right, let's try to get some more. So who did you bring with you today? I brought six more, uh, including some repeat profiles that I'm hoping your viewers are going to know something about that we can probably get them brought in. All right, well, let's start with Clinton Lee Kelly. Yes, Clinton Kelly, he is a repeat profile. Uh, we profiled him a couple times before. We last knew him to have an address in Herlock, Maryland. He's wanted connection uh, with assault, theft, uh, vandalism charges, possession of a weapon. We have received information that he may have uh, run, may have ran to North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So if anybody has any information where he may be, we can still bring him back to North Carolina. So please keep those tips coming in on Clinton Lee Kelly. All right. Getting brought in. Next we have Alicia Ann Langerak. Miss Langerak, we still believe her to be right here in Salisbury. She is wanted in a connection with a Rogan Vagabond case, which is translated to somebody who's charged with breaking into vehicles. Oh. Mm. So take a good look at her. If you know where she is, uh, we still believe her to be right here in Salisbury, and we want to get her brought in. All righty. Rodney K. Smith. Rodney Smith, uh, we believe him to be right here in Salisbury. He is wanted in connection with an assault in the second degree case. So if anybody knows where Mr. Smith is, please contact us again. We believe him to be right here in the Salisbury area still. All right, Lieutenant, tell us about Allison Marie Townsend. She is wanted in connection with drug charges. Uh, we, we had an address for her in Salisbury. We've also received information she may have relocated to Baltimore, but she still has ties to this area. Please contact Crime Solvers right away. This is Daryl Anthony Turner. Yes, Daryl Anthony Turner. Uh, we have an address for him down at Princess Anne, and he's wanted in connection with a second-degree assault case. Now, Mr. Turner was arrested recently um, with the help of tips from Crime Solvers. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping that somebody else will call in and let us know where Mr. Turner is again so we can bring him in again with the help of Crime Solver tips again. 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 <laughs> so. Okay. And then we have Kevin Dwayne Walker. Kevin Walker, uh, we last know him to be right here in Salisbury. Uh, we want him in connection with a slew of traffic charges. Um, so if anybody knows where uh, Mr. Walker is, please contact Crime Solvers right away so we can get him brought in. Okay, so we went over these kind of quickly. If yeah. there's someone that we see that we think may have been one of them, we can go to social media. Yes, we can go to, you can go to social media. Uh, the Sheriff's Office will post them on their Facebook. Right. Crime Solvers, the Lower Region Shore, they share wanted lists from not only the Sheriff's Office, uh, the city police, uh, some of the municipal departments, and other information they're trying to get out to the public. So it's, it's a very good tool for uh, your viewers to follow that page, too. But if you want the money, you need to yes. call Crime Solvers. Occasionally, I'm being told that tips are coming in through Facebook, but the Facebook page is not monitored 24-7. Right. The Crime Solvers phone line is 24-7, 365 days a year. You call that number, 410-548-1776. A real person will answer that phone, take your information, and never ask your name. You're never right. ask your name. Ever. And they're going to give you a code number. They'll send us the information. It's not even answered at any sheriff's, at the sheriff's office right. or any police facility. Answered by civilians. They send us the information. Maybe we act on for it. some money. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, you come back with Thank an update you. with some more captures yes, next so. week. And if you'd like more information on crime solvers, go to WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page.